there are a lot of impacts of climate change that we're already seeing in the Everglades. Would you talk a little bit about that? Have you seen those impacts? The easiest you know, response to that is saltwater intrusion around the coast. Mm. This is such a flat, low sloping landscape. And, and to put that into perspective, the average drop in elevation from the northern end of the water conservation areas down to the coast at Everglades National Park in Florida Bay is about an inch and a half to two inches for every mile that you go south. So you're talking about a very gentle slope. When you think of that, and that we've cut off the flow to Everglades National Park, and then realize we've mm. had roughly nine inches or so of sea level rise over the last century, that means that you've allowed saltwater to intrude on the surface, you know, miles really in the, in the coastal Everglades. Just going back in time and looking at the, the aerial photography and more recently the satellite imagery, you can see the changes that have taken place around the coast. And then as those habitats change, the, the, the fish and the invertebrates and the animals, they have to, to migrate as well. It's really all pointing to the need for more fresh water to combat that saltwater intrusion. We can't stop sea level rise with Everglades restoration, but we can certainly slow those transformations. Uh, allow those habitats to migrate more naturally.